seeing as I'm still like doing daily uploads and I don't have a job and I don't have mutual obligations and I don't have any money and I also don't have a sleeping schedule and I also don't have much of a will to do anything that isn't lie in bed and watch YouTube, I'm here making another video. Um, I'm in my bimbo era, as you can tell, because I'm hot shit and everyone should know it. Sorry, I'm staring at my boobs. The same shirt constantly in every video to like keep my brand to now branching out, developing a style. <sighs> Who knows? So we are crocheting a frog. The yarn, the yarn, my scissors, my little geisha girl scissors. Is she a geisha girl? Ooh, cake girl. Needle, got a big eye on it. Uh, 3.5 millimeter hook. My pink hook. Hey, it matches. Oh my god. In my bag of tricks. Eyes. I'll show you in a minute why we need all this stuff. Frog that I just finished crocheting. Look at it. It's amazing. Ugh. Yeah, pretty good. The round guy. He's like a little pill. I don't ever name my plushies because I do not remember their names. This is frog to me. You can't even tell that they're- why are you doing that? You can't even tell that there are two yarns. I'm a little bit mad, actually. I'm a little bit mad. You live and you learn. Failure, first step to success. Boobs are so distracting. I'm gonna look at my boobs. They're great, look at them. Amazing. Awesome. I'm not wearing a watch. So, we're gonna make a frog and we're gonna talk about my baby girl, my guy. I'm Dean Winchester. Very dirty. This table's very dirty. I'm gonna keep the yarn in my lap. Just like rolls around the ball. The ball. The ball. 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 So I'm gonna go get a ball. Got my ball. Oh my god, you have massive spiders. Ugh, you have snakes. Bro, at least we don't have bears and wolves. Sure, we have dingoes in the desert. Have bears in their backyards, like just roaming into them. Um, Yogi, fuck off please. Everywhere, every part of society, every part of the world. Sometimes I have cockroach dreams and I wake up sweating. I like read this video or like watch this news article or something, jogging along the road in like Ontario or some shit. I don't know, like wherever they have roads. She's just minding her business running along a road and a wolf attacked her they run at a steady pace oh my god shut up shut up and when she stopped it was like Arr. maybe the lesson there is don't live in canada this big but a wolf is wolf sized i've gone up against a tarantula before like, are you do you bro have you have you stepped outside or read the news where it doesn't snow as heavily. She lied. Magic circle. Let's do it. You don't do that, okay? You don't do that because it creates a seam. Bad stuff. Finish a row, you know, chain one and keep going. You don't do that. You just keep going around, around, around. And I love cake. I have cake. If I have cake inside, I might eat some. So, I'm not gonna show you this. So, um, I'm a Gurumi. You're gonna learn a lot about crochet in this. Horrible. It's horrible little yarn. Ugh, boobs. Pull it tight, it's just gonna snap. So it's, it, it's bad. Oh, it's so nice out here now. Thank you, bowl. In Australian terminology, which is wrong for once. For once, Americans reign supreme. This is gonna drown me out real quick. You know what? I don't care. Listen to the rain sounds. Maybe that's what I should do. I should just crochet with my tips out while you listen to the rain. <laughs> I think Dean Winchester, despite being a man, is probably um, the love of my life. Oh, thank you, Rain. Supernatural started airing when I was 13. I possibly watched it when I was 13 possibly watched it when I was 14. Um, Supernatural was my first major fandom. 
Supernatural was my first major fandom. I was Danny Phantom in the fandom fandom. Try not to shit all over everybody else. Because that's not very enjoyable. A bit of yarn. It was my time to use the computer, the one computer in the house when we had dial up internet in 2004. <laughs> Babe's Wi-Fi was around in 2004 and we still had dial-up. At least I've ever been an adult in a fandom for children. <laughs> Along came the spider and I was just like, this is everything that I wanted. You know, like I wasn't a Buffy fan, um, True Blood hadn't come out yet and I love True Blood. I still love True Blood to this day. Season four of True Blood is probably one of the best seasons of television. Ever. Season two is really good because of Godric, but he's only in like three episodes. Yeah, I think he comes back as a ghost in season four. That's why season four rocks. Like I was always obsessed with the supernatural. Like when I was having my like paranoid delusions as a untreated bipolar child, I would like have this fantasy about this like wolf man climbing in through my window. He was my friend, I think. I was either terrified or turned on as a child and I don't know which. I've like been obsessed with werewolves my entire life. Like maybe I might do a video ranking werewolves. I really loved Claire Wolf, obviously, because I love Claire. So I've always been obsessed with like the supernatural and werewolves particularly, but like vampires are cool and witches are cool. And I love the witches in Supernatural. Oh my God. One, nothing wrong with me. Two, nothing wrong with me. God damn it. Yeah, so the first episode that I saw was actually Wendigo, and it still terrifies me to this day. And I haven't sat properly in any of these videos yet, and I'm not going to. I still get the suspicion that something is going to creep up and attack me. Paul Giovanni is like walking by the pool, and he stops, and there's a like grass wolf creature. That is the most terrifying shit I have ever seen. Once you notice the twist, it's like, oh well, no point in watching this movie again. But then I also want to watch that movie and be like, is this a good representation of, is this a represent, a believable representation of, um, of, uh, even though it is truly a garbage representation of mental health, <laughs> like any kind of mental health in media. What am I talking about? Am I talking about Dean Winchester? Because I missed the first episode. Oh, our mum's dead and we have daddy issues and we have to find dad. The diary and they were like, this is everything. This is everything dad knows. Bro, he was such a shitty hunter. He didn't even know that vampires were still alive. It's always been a huge influence on my writing, the kinds of TV shows that I want to make, on the kinds of movies I want to make. Uh, yeah, I'm a filmmaker. Didn't you know? I have always basically wanted to make Supernatural in Australia. I cannot believe that some dipshit has now made another series called Supernatural. Bro, learn your history. Okay, pay respect to the Titans who came before you. Do not take that name. Now, everything on AO3 is now Supernatural in brackets TV. I don't like it. It has been supernatural for 17 years or 16 years, and now it is supernatural in brackets TV. Don't like it. Don't like it. I don't appreciate it. When you come through into my house and you make a fucking mess, clean it up. I watched it religiously, you could say, for the next eight seasons. Basically around season nine and 10, is when it stopped being the same boring bullshit. Like the Mark of Cain era, the most brilliant era of the whole show, possibly one of the most interesting arcs that has ever been put to television, not gonna lie. Let's make a big plushie. Okay, I'm gonna go up to 48 stitches. Yeah, let's do it, let's go wild. You know this bit of string works. Modeled my personality off of Dean Winchester right down to being a closeted homo. Dean Winchester is a homosexual. Beverly Leslie is a homosexual. Look, Beverly Leslie, he's in 
supernatural. I love Beverly. Oh my god. Beverly Leslie's in supernatural. When I say this show walked with giants, that's what I'm talking about. My birthday is all of April. It's all of April. But on the day of my birthday, which is all of April. Oh no, it was the day of my birthday party. So yeah, um, seeing as my birthday is all of April, I had my party on the day that Frontierland came out. But I watched that and it upset me so much that I got very drunk. <laughs> my birthday party, I was 18. How old was I? So I was 19 and I got very drunk and I just ranted about it for like hours. How disappointing Frontierland was on the party of my birth. It's actually a really good episode. Stuck up little goody two shoes pick me girl Rachel. Sorry babes, you don't have it in you. Only Dean's got it in him. <laughs> By that I mean cat <laughs> The fact that I wear a queen shirt in every video on this channel um, shows that I really like classic rock. I really like classic rock. My dad used to drive muscle cars. We used to listen to classic rock. I learned the bass, like, oh, I, I did it. Oh my God, I did it. Oscillating between sweatpants and band t-shirts and bimbofication for basically my entire life. The meat. I don't even know if skinny jeans were a thing back then. Like eyeliner on the lower waterline. It was emo nation. Feel free to shatter the illusion. I haven't listened to like anything in the last 17 years. I was like the punk emo, not the cringy, gross, stupid emo. Lying is the most fun a girl can have without taking a clothes off. Uh, it's true, I guess. I'm not a girl, so I wouldn't know. Fuck. <gasps> yeah, it was recording in 4K. It was recording in full fucking K, bro. I don't need that. I already have like no space on my phone or my tablet and I keep deleting things and I still have no space. If you love gay trans, please buy something from my Etsy. Yeah, so I basically just like modeled my personality off of Dean Winchester, like the whole drinking and sleeping around. I think I did it really subconsciously, but I also think I'm gonna try and finish this fucking frog. My behavior was because I was a traumatized child. Dean's behavior is because he was also a traumatized child who grew into a traumatized adult. I grew into a traumatized adult. Slutations. Um, sleeping with women because he wanted to like feel something and wanted people to want him and also thought that his only worth was because he was good in bed or that people wanted to fuck him. That was my thought process at the time. It was reinforced by the fact that people were sleeping with me. I was hot back then. I mean, I'm hot now. I was doing jujitsu, I was really fit. My boobs are huge. They've always been big, really tight clothing and walk around in heels and like going to parties. You know, people are paying attention to me. They want sex from me. Get drunk and make out with people. I would get drunk and have sex with people. It was just what you did. My group of friends, I should say. I don't know, they were all like autistic nerds. Like they didn't care. I bet they're all gay now. Well, someone wants to be friends with me. So I gotta just do everything that they want. I was diagnosed with bipolar in 2014. So from then on, I was on medication. I wasn't drinking. The way you go out to bars in Australia is you pregame at home, you get fucking blitzed, you get in a taxi, you go to the club, dance all night, pay for maybe one drink, and you're golden. And watched Skins, or whatever. And prescribed me the right therapy. Dean has ADHD, I have ADHD. Basically, it fucked up my whole life. What if I take ecstasy and die? What if I take heroin and die? All of that was as a result of me, you know. It all comes back to Supernatural. Thank you for saving me. And it's like, well, look at Dean. <laughs> drinking so much you you black out like literally black holes in my memory from drinking
being at this party, I don't remember going there or leaving this party. Not everyone is capable of handling themselves when they're blackout drunk. I had some experiences, trust me. Hurt people, hurt people, no bitch. Hurt people get hurt. Thrill seeking stuff like part of his ADHD because you know, dopamine machine broke, gotta get it wherever you can. In the text that he was abused by John and had a fawn reflex. And then you just internalize that and then it makes you think that you're a piece of shit who deserves to get yelled at. But then Dean's like, doesn't take shit from anyone. Oh no, he takes shit from himself. Like he just spends his entire life beating himself up for things he can't change and that were not his fault to begin with. I love him. He just hates himself because he doesn't have any self-worth and it's like <laughs> his father abused him like at the very least physically emotionally mentally and psychologically not gonna say anything else because that's a horrible subject that i don't want to get into why does he hate himself he's gorgeous he's amazing he knows like kung fu and shit my father's name is very similar to john first flashback episode we see Dean is taking care of Sam by himself Dean like picks up the shotgun because he's gonna like kill the Striga he's like 10 I think that John was actually waiting for the Striga to come into Sam's room came in at the last minute and saved the family or whatever and it's like did he? did he? Um, or was he waiting for the Striga to come into Sam's room? and attack him. Was he? Because it's not the first time he put his children in danger. Why would a possibly teenage, at least young adult man who looks like Jensen Ackles get into a cab with a lonely truck driver? Possibly rob him, possibly kill him if he's a supernatural creature. Why, why do you think that truck driver would pick up such a young handsome lad and take him away? You know, truck drivers only pick up hot chicks when they're hitchhiking. Um, until this episode when the truck driver picks up a young man and kisses him in the cab. Why did they cut that out? Because it proves that Dean's fucking being with men heavily implying that oh he definitely had group sex with um crowley and he you know what happens in purgatory stays in purgatory split some triplets john pimping him out john pimping pimp pimping horrible man that he is oh you little flea thing oh gross so dean is a homo and was closeted for a very long time. Hooked? <gasps> mm, why? Why? But you don't talk to anyone about it? He goes to the confessional where he's like, there are things, people, feelings I want to experience, maybe for the first time. Homosexuality, is that, is that what you want to experience for the first time? Who's to say, me, I'm to say, and yes, that's exactly what he's saying. And now he's happily gay married to his gay trans husband. Um, in my personal opinion, they changed their name to Novak hyphen Klein. So they are the Novak Kleins now. I'm like working on a supernatural iceberg. <laughs> Absolutely fucking crazy in the head stupid. Yeah, he's been through a lot and now he's happy with his gay trans kids and his gay trans husband. It's a little hat. You know the little Totoro hat? The hat that Totoro wears with like the little leaf? Oh my god. I'm gonna put on the screen a picture of uh, the Totoro that I made my partner's aunt for Christmas. It is the best thing I've ever made. It's the absolute best thing I've ever made. It's amazing. And it has a little leaf hat, of course. And it has like the belly. Oh, that's right. I gotta put a belly on this frog. That's what it's missing. Oh my god. Now what we're going to do is, um, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep this going until I have completely run out of steam.
didn't know how right I was. Did not know how right I was. When I became a teenager, I started to improve my life. Because babe, if you have crippling anxiety, you probably have an anxiety disorder. 